I'm out early this Saturday morning in Santa Clara and the line outside is already out the door. That could only mean one place. We're at Stan's Donuts. This is Vinicius Brazil and you're watching Santa Clara Living. Today I'll be taking you on a journey through this historic, iconic establishment. From the man who started it all to the secret ingredient that makes Stan's Donuts the best. Stay tuned, you won't want to miss a single detail. Stanford Whitmire, or Stan as most knew him, was born in Lodi in 1927. Stan considered himself a country boy at heart and fondly recalls growing up in California's gold country in the town of Angel's Camp. As a teenager, Stan moved with his family to San Francisco. After graduating from St. Ignatius High School, he joined the Navy and served in World War II, where he was stationed in Hawaii. After the war, Stan came back to the Bay Area and settled in the East Bay. While working for the Lucky Supermarket Corporation in Oakland, he met the love of his life and eventual business partner, Tina. At 22 years of age and after three months of dating, the two were soon married and initially settled in Oakland. A few years and six children later, the family left Oakland and briefly moved down to Castro Valley and then on to Santa Clara, where they eventually permanently settled to raise their growing family. Stan found work at a donut shop in Sunnyvale, Scotty's Donuts, originally located at Murphy Street and El Camino. It was here that Stan learned the art of making great donuts, everything from preparing the dough to the right technique that created the perfect, soft, and delicious donut. And most importantly, to never compromise on the quality of the ingredients. Stan and Tina loved the climate and community of Santa Clara. They soon bought a home in the West Clare track on San Miguel Avenue. A few years later, the opportunity to buy Sally's, an existing donut shop and lunch counter business in the Mariposa Shopping Center presented itself. Stan dreamed of going into business, and at 32 years old, Stan seized the opportunity, and in 1959, Stan's Donut Shop was officially open for business. The original location of Stan's was just a few stores down from its current location in the Mariposa Shopping Center. In addition to donuts, Stan operated a lunch counter or fountain as they were referred to. Stan served hamburgers, sandwiches, and milkshakes, as well as other lunch items. A faith-filled and hardworking family man, Stan held himself to the highest standards. It's these principles that he put into his business, family, and his life. Owning and running a donut shop and fountain was hard work. In addition to being the master baker and cook, Stan made sure that all the ingredients and supplies were ordered, equipment was serviced, and finances were handled. Seven days a week, 362 days a year. Daily, Stan would wake up at 3 a.m. to get to the shop early in the morning to ensure that the donuts and coffee were ready and fresh for his early morning customers. Then get ready for the lunchtime crowd. Meanwhile, at home, Tina was lovingly caring for a family that had grown to nine children. The children were raised here in Santa Clara, attending McCoy Elementary, Wilson Middle School, and Santa Clara High School back when it was located at the present-day Bookser Middle School campus. Through the years, as the children grew older, they would help out in the donut shop, serving customers, cleaning, and helping make donuts. Julie, one of the younger of the Whitmire Nine, fondly remembers walking over to the donut shop after Sunday Mass at St. Justin's with her younger siblings. Seeing her dad, mom, and brothers at work, she would sit down at the counter and order lunch with her younger siblings. The donut shop was a popular stop for Santa Clarans in the area. They would get customers stopping in on their way to work for their morning coffee and donut. 
popular among workers at the Kaiser Hospital that was just located down the street on Kylie and churchgoers from St. Justin's who would stop in after Sunday Mass. Stan loved the community of Santa Clara and wanted to make sure that the donut shop served the community well. When taking over the donut shop, Stan made sure that the donut cutting table was right at the front of the store. He wanted to see who was coming in and make sure customers were satisfied and taken care of. He worked diligently to produce a quality product, always charged a fair price, and wanted stands to be a shop that the community would be proud of and continue to frequent. As the children grew older, siblings would be tasked with caring for the younger children and taking them to church. This enabled Tina to come to the shop and help her husband. Tina was friendly, personable, and quickly became the face of the shop. She would be the first to greet you when you came in and refer to her customers as hun or babe as she loved her customers and got to know as many as she could. And the customers loved Tina. Over the years, there were lots of regulars that would stop in and Stan and Tina got to know the community and developed many friendships. On a few occasions when he would get some time off, Stan enjoyed golfing and attending the horse races with his friends. Business was steady and it weathered the good as well as the hard times. In the early 70s, after returning from service in Vietnam, Richard, one of the oldest Whitmire boys, started working at the shop full time. While all the Whitmire boys worked hard at the shop, it would be Richard who would continue on the Whitmire legacy. Stan made sure to pass down the important steps that he so diligently learned from Scotty over to Richard. Richard, faithful and hardworking like his father, started to assume more of the responsibilities as head baker. By this time, Stan was well into his 50s and would continue to run the shop making sure that supplies were being ordered and handling the finances and other operations of the shop. It was around this time in the late 1980s that Mariposa Shopping Center was going through some remodeling. The store that Stan's Donuts occupied was to be combined to make a larger space for another retailer and Stan's was forced to move. Being community-minded, Stan wanted to ensure that Stan's Donuts stayed in the same shopping center, so they moved down toward the end of the center to where it resides today, using most of the fixtures and equipment from the original shop. Stan was getting up there in age. Years of long hours and hard work were starting to take their toll. Richard eventually took over the operations from his father continuing the same principles his father had instilled in the business. He continued to produce a quality product at a fair price, and Santa Clarins continued to enjoy and frequent Stan's Donuts. As time rolled on, business around the donut shop changed. A large source of business, the Kaiser Hospital down the street moved, and other lunch restaurants began to open up. The lunch business at the donut shop started to dwindle. Around the same time, donut orders were picking up. People were making larger orders to bring into the office, and high-tech companies would place orders for meetings. It didn't make sense to continue the lunch business, and the decision to make Stan's Donuts just a donut shop was made. Running the donut shop was hard work, and Richard needed hard-working employees. In 2000, Richard hired Carmen Lopez, who has been with Stan's ever since, serving customers, filling orders, and supervising the operations of the shop. She is often referred to as Little Tina. Eventually, Richard, too, could not keep up with the demands and had to find a replacement head baker. He would go on to train Carmen's husband, Jesus Lopez, in the art of donut making, just like his father had trained him. Other Whitmire family members, Julie and Kathy, two of the youngest daughters, would step in to help as Richard retired and keep the Whitmire legacy of Stan's Donuts going, bringing Jesus in as a partner in 2018. 
Today, when you stop in, you'll see Jesus behind the same cutting table that Stan and Richard occupied for so many years. You're likely to be greeted by Carmen, Julie, or Kathy, along with the incredible staff, some of whom are extended family members of Jesus and Carmen. These hard workers keep the classic shop and family atmosphere of Stan's going. And they make sure you'll still be served a hot cup of coffee and one of their fresh glazed donuts, one of Stan's specialties, or my favorite, a crispy old-fashioned glaze. Stan Whitmire passed away on February 12, 2011. Just a little over two months later, the love of his life, Tina, would join him. The legacy they left was a loving family of nine children, 20 grandchildren, and five great-grandchildren, and of course, an enduring business whose name is synonymous with Santa Clara. Over the years, we've seen a number of landmark Santa Clara businesses close, restaurants that many Santa Claras grew up frequenting, places like Vesuvios, La Paloma, and By the Bucket. It's always a disappointment to the community when one of these establishments closes its doors. We often forget that each one of these establishments was started by a family just like the Whitmires and overlook the hard work and sacrifice it took them to run a business, keep it profitable, and keep it going year after year. It should come as no surprise that when these businesses are sold and transferred, the new owners find it difficult to keep up and eventually they end up closing. Stan's Donuts has been a fixture here in Santa Clara for over 60 years. It's won numerous awards, been covered by local television stations. First stop was a real honest to goodness donut shop that's been doing it since 1959. Stan's Donuts often has a line, but we caught them in the middle of a weekday so we could get in. Best glazed donut ever. And if you're looking for a special donut to be served, you definitely come to the right place. But this is more than just a donut shop. It's Stan's Donut Shop at Homestead Road in Santa Clara. And frequented by celebrities. And featured in countless articles praising this small hometown shop. It served multiple generations of Santa Clarence who swear that these are the best donuts you'll find anywhere in the world. We're in the Stan's Donut. We just bought a dozen donuts. Stan's Donuts is in Santa Clara, California, on Homestead Road. How dare you, Stan's? How dare you make a donut so fluffy, so light, so sweet, so airy? This is heaven on earth, and this is Stan's Donuts. And here we go. Big reveal. It's maple. All right, let's see here. Oh my God. <laughs> delicious. Stan's Donuts. It's a testament to the Whitmire and Lopez families, whose dedication, keeping this amazing Santa Clara business going for so long, instilling the values of love and community that Stan and Tina so tirelessly worked for. Anyone who's ever had a donut at Stan's often wonders, what is their secret? How can their donuts be so good? The secret is simple, but not something that can be simply replicated. The secret is Stan and Tina, their hard work, dedication, and love for their family and community, their faithful and loyal son, Richard, and now the youngest Whitmire daughters, Julie and Kathy, along with Jesus and Carmen. This is what makes Stan's and their donuts so great and what has kept it successful for so long. So the next time you're in Santa Clara, be sure to stop by Stan's Donuts. I guarantee you won't find another donut anywhere that can live up to the legacy of Stan's Donuts. Thanks so much for watching our video on Stan's Donuts. If you liked the video, please give us a like and be sure to share it. For more great videos about Santa Clara, please subscribe to our channel. Until next time, this is Vinicius Brazil and you're watching Santa Clara Living.